This treatment of marijuana, and I'm probably uh, way off base here, but it just seems like it's treated differently. And part of it is it's just, it interacts with the body differently. Like how are they deciding if someone's under the influence of marijuana when they get pulled over? So it's a different set of observations that uh, officer is looking for. Um, in the past, it would always be, you know, the smell of the marijuana about the person like they had just smoked it. However, now we've moved into where we have more CBD, more gummies, different signs that are definitely not where you're going to have a smoke odor that's going to be detected. But you have to think that marijuana affects a person differently than alcohol does. Alcohol is a, a depressant. It's classified as a central nervous system depressant. Cannabis is a different category. So the behaviors and the signs and how it affects a person and their motor control is different and their speech is going to be different. Their inner, internal time clock is going to be different. These are all things that officers have to be trained on that they can't use the same things that are for alcohol toward 